My name is Larry Dooley. I'm the observations program leader. This station has been right here in this exact location since uh, they put the equipment in in April of 1917. They started reporting observations daily on May 1st of 1917, and they've reported more or less every day since then. This is what's known as a historical climate station. We try to use the same type of instruments that we've used the entire time here. As you can see right here, they measure soil temperatures from two down to 72 inches. It's an old mercurial type uh, gauge. And uh, over here where these guys are at, that was the original temp set. We no longer use that because they use mercury thermometers. We have a thermometer over here that's plus or minus one degree from minus 40 to 120 that we use in its place. Uh, we've also measured snow depth, which right there is a snow stake. In the winter time, we do, don't have it out. They have a snow stick and snow board to measure snowfall. That measures your snow depth over a period. There's an eight inch rain gauge back there. It's the same type rain gauge that went in when they put this station in use a stick it's got a 10 to 1 ratio that it breaks it down and you I'm measure it to a hundredth of an inch um, those cups over there are the evaporation cups they have an evaporation pan they yeah, normally have, have out they don't have it out right now because of all the traffic that was coming through that measures feet of air passage over the water it's nice because there's definitely and not again this is they become a hundred year station next month there's only may 1st and next year we'll have a hundred climate year eight stations in Sheridan County and the next closest one was at the airport and I think it started in the 1940s. Well this being part of the historical climate network I'm sure you've heard of all the studies they do on on temperature changes and stuff like that. This particular station which is the only one in this area that's a historical station has used the same type of instruments almost the entire time it's been here and it's important it that you don't change any variables so that you can see the effects and the changes the of, so of the climate from year to year, season to season, with different types of weather patterns that, and stuff like that. Uh, this place has a, summertime it's had highs up in the 120 range and wintertime's low down to about minus 40 at this station. Stuff is accessible through our website at nws.billings at noaa.gov. And in the climate section, there's a drop-down menu where you can go and look at uh, the monthly observations. They only get entered once a month because they are manual.